Hey guys, got an interesting repair for you today. Uh, this is a Centro 48. I bought it on Amazon. Uh, it's got a stripped out gear. See, it goes like this and stops moving. So I'm going to take it apart. Mine's the uh, Mia Oki. Hmm. Anyway, it's the same as the Centro 48. Find it on Amazon. Cheap, but this is apparently a common problem. We're going to 3D print a new gear and get this repaired. Let's show you how. Okay, here we are. Let's take it apart. So there's seven screws on the bottom. They all just come apart really easy. There we go. Flip it over. Let those screws fall out. There we go. How many do we got here? Got all seven. One, two, three, four. Oh, some are still in there. Not these two. And. No one. Okay. So, so the ring comes off. And then these gears come off. Just remember, these are numbered on top. Uh, number 48 goes next to the white right here. I don't know if you notice that. There. And there's a ring. Okay, here we are. Okay, and then just two more right here. This comes out here. This one comes out here. That pops out there. Okay, this is wiggles. And there we go. Okay, I don't know if you can see it on camera. There you go. A little better that's the broken gears right there now this back piece this does come off i'm just loosening it up a little blade there and there's one more screw right here now nah, hold that one in so get that one out and screw yeah pop it out and there we go see that's the broken teeth right there. So let's head on over to the 3D printer and print out the new one. See you soon. All right, and we're back from the 3D printer. We got ourselves a new one. Take a look. Print it out the same one, exactly the same. This one was hollow. I printed it solid. I don't know. Hopefully it's a little more strong. Doesn't happen again. Let's get it pre-assembled. So that just pops back in. Screw goes back in here. Make sure that's nice and tight. Good. Make sure there's no wobble. Oh, a little bit of wobble there. There we go. One more. Ah, perfect. Nice and strong. Okay. A little flap goes back on. Get that machine back over. That goes in there. There we go. Now, this goes back on. This only goes one way. The holes only line up kind of one way, so... Those screws in there. Good. Got one more. Okay. 
Perfect. Aha, excellent. There we go. Got her all fixed. Okay, reassembly time. Okay, here we are for reassembly. Uh, this ring goes first. Right here, there is a little notch there. There's a corresponding notch uh, on the machine. I don't know. Can you see it there? It's right there. It's for the uh, panel and tube feature. Just goes around like that. Right? Stop either way. Your little switch. Who's in there? Oop. There is an upside and a downside. Where it tapers out. We'll put that up. Okay. And then which one? This one next. This one just goes on. Oh wait, there is a marker on this one. Where was it? Uh, a little white dot. Hang on. I need the power of sight in my old age. There it is. White dot. Right there. So the white dot goes over between number 48 and number 1. So... Put that there. Just give it a little jiggle, it'll go. Perfect. Now the outer ring. This one's Mark II. This one has a notch on it. Uh, right there. Notch, that's between number... The notch goes over to the white one and over by that dot. So the white peg is number 48, in case you're wondering. White one, number 48, so you know it's the end. And then the top one goes back on, right here. Perfect. Slides on like a charm. Okay. Make sure you're holding it nice and tight. Put in some of the screws here. that one we'll go to the opposite side right away and then we'll do that one next perfect yeah Two. Yep. And last one. Okay. There we go. And there we are, all done, working again. And that's how you do it. Hit me up in the comments if you need one of the STL files or you actually need a gear printed. I can hook you up with that. Not a problem. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something with this. I'll see you next time. Thank you.